I have a lot of friends who are Christian, but they're progressive Christian, basically. Okay. And usually I try to talk to them about the Bible and stuff, and there's like usually two arguments they have. The first one is where they usually say that, oh, it's mistranslated. It's not man shall not sleep with man, it's man shall not sleep with boy. And uh -huh. then some even believe that it's homosexuality is a sin, but they'll say that it doesn't matter if they live that lifestyle because as long as they believe in Jesus, as long as they repent, and have faith that they'll go to heaven, they'll still go to heaven. So, mm. yeah, those are the two arguments that they usually have. Mm -hmm. I just want to know your preference. Yeah, okay, great question. Um, first of all, when somebody says something, it's not their job. It's not your job to refute what they say. It's their job to support what they say, right? Yeah. So, uh, if he's trying to say, your friend is trying to say, well, it's mistranslated. I, first question would be, what do you mean by it's mistranslated? What is the proper translation? And then how did you come to that conclusion? What evidence do you have for that position? Because I can tell you that if you look at Romans chapter 1, he's talking about the act of same-sex behavior. And in ancient times, same-sex behavior in the first century was considered immoral just like it was considered immoral among Christians or Jews prior to that. Okay, so. It's the behavior itself. It's not the orientation. It's yeah. not, well, I have this yeah. feeling, okay? If that were the case, having the feeling of uh, heterosexual relationships would be sinful too because you can use that illicitly as well, okay? It's the action. And so the acts themselves were condemned as indecent, according to Romans 1. I don't care how you translate it. You can translate it any way you want as long as you understand that the original meant indecent acts. OK, yes. and then the second part that he mentioned is that you can live however you want. and You'll still be saved. Not according to Paul. In fact, if you look at uh, not according to Jesus either, if you look at Rome, uh, Romans chapter six, Paul says, well, if we're saved by grace, shouldn't we sin all the more so grace will abound? And Paul says, may it never be. And then when he's dealing with a problem in the church at Corinth, there's a man at the church at Corinth, which was the Las Vegas of the ancient world, who was actually sleeping with his father's wife, his stepmother, and he was proud of it. He said, I'm doing this. And Paul said, expel the immoral brother from your congregation. Expel him. Satan maybe will teach him a lesson. I think he says something like that. And then the idea was if you expel him, Hopefully, he's going to come to his senses and he can be restored later. What does all this mean? It means this. Every single person is welcome in the church. There's only one person who's not welcome. Someone who claims to be a Christian and says that known sin isn't really sin. Paul says, expel the immoral brother. Jesus says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. If you don't love Jesus and you're not keeping his commandments, are you saved? No, you're not saved because you're keeping his commandments. Keeping his commandments is evidence that you are saved. You see the point? Yeah, I see. I yeah. see. In fact, Jesus even says, there's going to be some of you who are going to say, oh, Lord, Lord, didn't we do this in your name and that in your name? Away from me. I never knew you. So uh, good works are evidence you're saved. They're not the cause of your salvation. They're the result of your salvation. As Martin Luther famously said, you're saved by faith alone, but your faith is not alone. As Paul says in Ephesians chapter 2, where he says, you're saved not by works, but by grace through faith. In the next couple of verses, he says, you were prepared to do good works. So Jesus is your Savior if he's also your Lord. If he's just, oh, I, I got fire insurance and I'm going to do whatever I want, that doesn't demonstrate you're truly saved.